Do you know how to run your meetings for all the different types of people in it? Whether or not you think you do, today's learning snack might be helpful. I'm Joe Ilfeld, CEO and founder of Insight to Leadership. And recently I was talking with a client and she was telling me about how she listens to the experts in the room, forms an opinion and makes a decision. This is very common and what I hear from a lot of leaders that I talk to. What we then engaged on and had a really interesting conversation about was how long do you give the introverts in the room to come up with their opinion about a proposal? And how much space do you give the introverts in the room to come up with a proposal? Let me explain what those two things are and how they're different. First of all, time. Many people who are introverts find that when things are presented in meetings, they don't have enough time to really weigh them through, think them out properly, analyze all the different aspects of things they're curious with, and then decide what their opinion is and what side they come on for it. People who tend to be more gut-centered or lead more on instinct, they hear an idea and they immediately have this gut sense like, yes, no, maybe you could convince me, something like that. But people who tend to be much more head-centered and thinking-centered, they need some time to think it through fully, think of all the ramifications. For them, they are not making decisions based on their gut. They might have a gut reaction, but they're not going to want to make a decision just based on that gut reaction. So there has to be enough time, either before the meeting, having things that they can pre-read, that they can read and think through, proposals that they can think through themselves before they come into the meeting, before decision is made. So that's the time element. And if you're just giving them a 30 minute meeting, even a 60 minute meeting when a lot of other things are happening, that might not give them what they need. The other thing is the space. If you've ever been in a meeting with a lot of extroverts, you know the extroverts often just jump right in. They talk over each other sometimes as one is coming to the end of a sentence, another one is starting their sentence. And for many introverts, they really need a pause before they're ready to enter in the conversation. And so if there isn't space, if there aren't enough pauses in your meeting for the introverts to decide, okay, I'm ready to talk and now I'm gonna talk. I noticed recently in a Zoom meeting I was doing that people would unmute themselves when they wanted to talk. And I'm very aware of who is muted or unmuted in any Zoom meeting. And so I would see people unmute, sort of patiently wait, and then someone else would just unmute and go. And they weren't looking to the cues of who else had unmuted, who was patiently waiting. Um, and some people would even put up a finger as they're unmuting and the other person would then just go. So make sure that whether you're doing your meeting on a, a learning online, oh my God, I just had a word fart there. Make sure whether you're doing online meetings or you're doing in-person meetings that there is space, that you give a pause, that you say, okay, I wanna hear from everyone. Or if you haven't spoken yet, I'm gonna invite you to weigh in on this proposal and specifically sort of uninvite the people who are speaking all the time and have weighed in multiple times already during that meeting. So once again, when you are leading a meeting with introverts, make sure that you give them time, enough time to think things through and fully come to a conclusion before they have to weigh in for a decision and make sure you give them space to weigh in, that there is room in the meeting for the introverts to talk and that they don't have to like fight the extroverts in the room to get their say. Okay, I'd love to hear how you are going to create more time or space in your next meeting. And if you're an introvert, does this resonate with you? Would this be helpful to you for some of the meetings you go to? Thanks for watching, and I look forward to learning from you as well.